The wildlife trade is the buying and selling of wild animals and plant resources, including importing, exporting, and re-exporting, live or raw or finished products made from them. It includes the trade in timber for our houses and furniture, and animals and plants which are used for food and in some medicines. Wild animals are also popular as pets and trophies, or may form part of a collection. The wildlife trade is worth hundreds of billions of dollars each year. Whilst most wildlife trade is legal, a significant proportion is not. It involves vast numbers of wild animals and plants. It robs communities of their natural resources and potential benefits from tourism. It threatens national security and stability through armed gangs, poachers, and illegal hunters that participate in the trade, causes damage to the environment, and can have an impact on global health through the spread of diseases. Aviation provides a safe, convenient, and affordable method of travel for billions of people every year. Traffickers try to exploit the increasing connectivity and efficiency of our network. Traffickers adapt, regularly changing their routes to avoid detection, making airports in any region and at any size vulnerable to wildlife trafficking. Airports Council International, ACI, and others in the aviation sector are committed to supporting efforts to combat wildlife trafficking. Wildlife trafficking creates risks for the industry, including health and safety risks to passengers and staff, as trafficked wildlife can carry disease, may be venomous, or cause injury if it tries to escape, reputational risks from negative press and reports, economic risks from loss of nature-based tourism, and diminished operational efficiency. Wildlife is smuggled through airports on passengers, in their baggage, as cargo, and by post. Wildlife smuggled by individual passengers is generally carried in fairly small quantities. This is usually high in value and delicate. Some traffickers have been caught concealing wildlife under their clothing. Bird eggs may be hidden in specially designed t-shirts, hidden under a baggy shirt, in underwear, or secured into pantyhose which is then tied around the body. Passengers have also been apprehended with wildlife hidden in their carry-on baggage. One of the best-known examples was a woman traveling to Iran with a drugged tiger cub in her bag. When it comes to checked-in baggage, the quantities of wildlife contraband can be larger. A single 32-kilogram suitcase seized in Russia was found to contain gibbons, a wildcat, snakes, lizards and turtles, and two crocodiles. Sadly, the crocodiles did not survive their journey. In another incident, 15 travelers were arrested after a total of 790 kilograms of ivory was found in their 32 items of checked-in baggage. Cargo shipments provide the opportunity to smuggle even greater amounts. In Thailand, authorities found two tons of ivory in a shipment declared as mobile phones. Live animals have also been discovered in cargo. A consignment labeled simply as stones sent from Madagascar actually turned out to contain more than 300 endangered tortoises. Courier and postal shipments sent by air have been found containing rhino horn, live lizards, and even venomous snakes. Everyone working in the airport can play a role in combating wildlife trafficking. If you know what to look for, you can help to make a difference a report made by an airport employee resulted in the seizure of 41 kilograms of rhino horn. So, what can you look out for? Possible signs include passengers wearing clothes which are too big or which are wrong for the climate in both the origin and destination of their journey. Unusual smells, movement, or noise coming from either a passenger, their baggage, or from cargo shipments could indicate that there are wildlife or wildlife parts being smuggled. Air holes in baggage or in cargo where live animals have not been declared could indicate that there are live wild animals being smuggled. Passengers taking unusual connections could be another sign. The 15 passengers caught with 790 kilograms of ivory were traveling between Angola and Cambodia. Their route included Ethiopia, Hong Kong, and South Korea. Normally, travelers prefer to take the shortest possible route to their destination people who have something to hide often show involuntary responses. These might include sweating or dilated pupils, extreme nervousness, shaking, and twitching. 
When you talk to them, they might avoid eye contact. They might delay responding to you and may even repeat your question before answering. They could talk very quickly and adjust their clothing or jewelry. Individuals who exhibit these signs may also be involved in other crimes such as drug smuggling. What should you do if you find live animals? If you can, leave the handling of animals to those who are qualified or experienced. If you must handle wildlife, use protective clothing such as gloves, mask, or goggles. So what should you do if you suspect wildlife trafficking is happening? 1. Check that you know to whom you should report suspected incidences of wildlife trafficking and how to do this. 2. Don't handle smuggled wildlife unless absolutely necessary. To summarize, wildlife trafficking threatens the survival of many animal and plant species. It damages the environment, spreads disease, threatens local livelihoods and national economies, and poses risks not only to the industry, but those who work in it, including you. Be part of the solution. Keep your eyes and ears open to the possibility that wildlife trafficking is happening right under your nose. Report what you see and hear. Your report and response can make a difference.